Hello, this is Monkey 1000. Okay, so today I got a coffee maker through my my uh, liquidation boxes that we we bought. Um, I need the coffee maker, so that was a bonus to me. If I didn't need it, I would sell it. I did look online to see what it was, how much, and they are regular price is about twenty dollars, and it was about twenty dollars on a J.C. Penny. Um, but they have it on sale for $17.99. So, that's not too bad. But, you know, so, we'll, we'll open it up. Hopefully, it's all there. I don't know. It's a 4-in-1 coffee station, which is nice because you can use it by one single cup, which is good for me because Shea Bear doesn't drink coffee. So, and I can make it as many as I want. So, kind of save save better on this than I would on my other other one it has a standard mug and traveling mug it has a five cup car carfe and you Correct. can pour over four that's number four so you can pour over so let me open this up and see what we got when you pour it over, it's similar to making uh, cowboy coffee. See, this is, I don't think this has been open. So, we will see. Here. Yeah, it's got the pamphlet in here. So I got your little plant pamphlet here. Um, you know, saying what's in here and what's your directions and stuff like that. And how to use it. So, I think I'll like this one. Hopefully. Wow. Okay. So, let's take it out. Just Small pot. Five cup. Yeah. You use that twelve cup thing over there, but you never drink the whole twelve cups. So no. That'll save money in the long run. Yeah, because I'm not wasting too much. I usually do about half a pot, but I don't like to make just half a pot because it doesn't taste the same. So this is cute. All right. Yeah. Isn't that cute? That's cute. Comparison. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> that is cute. So. Of course, this is 12 cups. All right. And, oh, it's got its own little filter. That's kind of nice. So I don't have to use those big filters. And then you got your little cup here. You put that in there. And then you put your water in the back here. Just very standard. Pretty much, and then close it, and I guess you move this up. Is that what you do? Yeah, it's adjustable base for like your mug. If yeah. you put a coffee mug in there, you'll have to raise it up. I was trying to see how you did that. Oh, I see. You have to move it up this way. There's little notches in here. Well, crazy Russian side. hacker. Maybe we should check out the instructions. Maybe. Oh, there you go. And we can maybe try to put it up here. It just kind of hooks. There you go. It just hooks in there. That's about as high as it goes, but that's good because you put your mug there. And you're good to go. And then you can bring it down when you want to use the pot. So you want to brew some coffee? If you want, we can. Oh, we'll try, try it that. and see how well it works. So you're going to be up late tonight drinking all this coffee mm. we're going to brew. No, I'll just make it. I, I don't drink coffee at night, really. Not too often. I might have a cup. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, well we're going to read up and we're going to show you different ways to make 
the coffee. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So we'll be back with you. Okay. So what are you doing with the vinegar there, monkey? Well, we found out this is used. It has been used. Um, so I cleaned out the pot and we're going to clean this out, the top of it. So, so we're going to put two cups of vinegar in here, uh, right here. And then we're going to take this and put five cups of water and pour it in there and let it run through to clean it. It's called descaling. Yes. And you should do that every so often like I was talking about on your other one. Yeah. When I told them they should do that. That's the technical term for it. Um, once a month. It's recommended once a month. Especially with probably our hard yeah. water probably need it more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like I told them on that one video. Yeah. If you have so, hard water you're going to want to use. Do you want to pour this in there so I don't spill it everywhere? Cause it's oh, you want heavy. me to spill it everywhere? Yeah. Then I can yell at you. Ah, ah. I'll get that bowl of water and we'll put it in here. Okay, okay so we're going to pour this. Let me zoom in on that line. It says to go up to pour white vinegar into water reservoir up to two cup level on water window. So we're going to pour, we're going to add this much, this much vinegar. I try to. Get that in the notches. It's not very easy. There you go. Okay. So anyway, we're going to fill it up to there, to the two cup line right there. And she's getting water, and then we're going to fill the water the rest of the way up. Now, it says to use, the paper, use a paper filter in this. So we've got a paper filter in the top. So we're going to go ahead and put this in here. And a little bit more. Okay, there's that. Okay. Now we're going to pour the water in up to the five cup level. Okay, there we are. Okay. Want to dump that out? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then it says to place a paper filter in the brew basket and close the cover. So we've got that in there. We're going to close the cover and turn on coffee maker and let half the cleaning solution brew into the craft until water level goes down to around three. So right about here. Okay. Turn off coffee maker and let it soak for at least 15 minutes to soften the deposits. Of course, there are no deposits that we know of, but let me get this plugged in. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Well, it does kick on. Let me back you out here. See the blue light switch there? Yep. So, it's on. And then after we let it set for 15 minutes, we're going to turn on the coffee maker and brew remaining cleaning solution into craft. That's the craft. You know, like when we get the craft of sangria at the mm -hmm. restaurant. So we're going to go ahead and let it do that, and then we'll be back with you. And you are doing what now? Okay, so now we put the vinegar through. So now I'm going to just put in cold water and put it through the filter again one more time before we do the coffee part. Yep, to rinse it out. Yeah, basically rinse it out. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so we're going to do a cup of coffee. Okay, so... We've moved the shelf where you would use it. I poured cold water in the cup so I don't overdo. I'm just going to pour it in there. Made you scared, didn't I? Now it says 
Now you can add more or less. I'll tell them how. Okay. If you, I mean, if you don't want them to know. Go ahead. Yeah, it's that in was there. On, it was on the thing. It says if you're not sure how much coffee to use, you begin by using one level tablespoon of medium ground coffee for each five ounces of coffee to be brewed. A full craft holds 25 ounces of coffee. So that, that pot over there would be 25 ounces. So a cup is about five ounces. So you're going to want about a tablespoon. Now she, her, I measured this. Now her scooper that she has in her coffee is um, two tablespoons. So we're going to want about half of this. But you know you can do make however or however less you want okay so we're gonna pour it in here this is a filter we can use that or you can use paper or both or both but I use one or the other and then you just close it up and here we go ready mm-hmm yay <laughs> the maiden voyage yes and here we go for our one cup of coffee which is great because I can make me one cup of coffee and don't have to make a whole pot. I always make a whole pot because it never tastes as right if you only make half a pot. And so. Or you can put your travel mug in there. Yeah, I have a travel which mug. Which you take this this out, this base out. Since that don't get hot, you can actually use a plastic one too. Mm -hmm. To where on a regular one it's got that hot plate, it would melt it. Right. Yes, you can use plastic or stainless steel or whatever and just put your um, your travel mug under there now it, it kind of tells you here on the side about how much but what we, what we did was we just like just took the coffee cup filled it to however much you want and dump in there that way you know it can't overfill right. same way that's a that's a little hack for you same way as with your travel mug you just fill it up and put it in there Set it under there, click it on, and you're ready to go. Uh, it seems to be working just fine, though. Yeah, seems fine. Okay, if I knew that's all the longer it was going to take, <laughs> we wouldn't have cut. No. Uh, I shut it off because I thought it would be longer than it took about what three minutes maybe i'd say so yeah. about three minutes maybe not that long but i'll say three minutes for that cup right there yeah it's finished it's so finished. there you go and that's your finished product yep coffee yeah and of course it's only going to taste as good as the coffee that you're using and she's using this what is that clover valley yep so but uh, Comes anyway, from Dollar General. you have to do it. You gotta taste test it. Well, I will. I use cream in my coffee, so I'm gonna get some cream, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like. This is an old one of her old travel mugs. Um, it's a pretty decent mug. It's Mr. Coffee. Um, you take your base out, wherever the base went to. You take, yeah, you just take this clear out your base and. Put your travel mug in there just like that now this also it doesn't come with them but you can buy the accessory mugs see there's your single cup and there's your travel mug that matches the coffee maker you buy them separate but that gives you an idea of you know you just put that under there and then now when you're done it doesn't automatically shut off so you got to remember shut your shut your power off when you are done with it and they recommend unplugging it too so all right she's got her coffee ready yeah got my coffee ready it's hot very very hot <coughs> it is hot what <laughs> no, bruno huh he's hi bruno all i could see was a Aww. curly all I could see was a curly tail behind your head. It looked like you you had a ponytail curled up. Get no, down. No. Anyways, <laughs> it's it's very very hot. Oh. I know. Uh, it's a little bit weak. 
for me. So I probably add a little bit more to it. But yeah. you got to adjust it to where you like it and, uh, you know, go from there. Well, maybe so. you'll use a scoop. Yeah. I mean, it just depends, but we're just guessing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's recommended, you know. Mm-hmm. So. I put You can little, add more or less, whatever. Just but, a little bit more. But anyway, so there yeah. is Monkey's Coffee Maker Review. Yeah. Unboxing and review. There you go. And that's it for now. Um, we got... I got one more thing coming Thursday. Oh, your Ipsy. Yeah, my Ipsy's on its way, so we'll do... Did somebody order one? Yeah, Carmen. Carmen did, and she liked hers very much. That's very good. I'm glad that she liked it. And um, so we are going to do some more of these liquidation things, hopefully. Next um, one will be a palette. We will work our way up to pallets, hopefully, soon, and and see what we can get from there. But we want to check out that place. Maybe we'll go there tomorrow and, and just check it out and see see what they're like. I heard they have um, pallets from 300 and up, and they don't open them, no. They're all sealed what and everything. What they get, they put out. Yeah, the they don't know what's in them. They have no idea. See, this has all been picked through. Well, they, they, they box these. That's, yeah, that's what, what I'm they saying. Do. They take them off. They yes. keep the good shit and add that in the more expensive boxes. Right. Probably, the junk, yes. Well, that's how they do it. And then mm -hmm. the junk, they throw in these. And, but the ones we're getting, they're supposedly from the reviews and from what they say. They don't pick them. They get them cheap. Mm -hmm. They sell them to us cheap. But they got to make a little money, so, you know. Right. But I just wanted to start small. I wanted to see what this was like and see what they had in it. So we gotta hurry. And now anyways, got a battery like flashing off. Monkey says in. she's out for now, and I will see you soon. Bye, y'all. You gonna say bye, Shea Bear? Hmm. What? Oh, bye, guys. Sorry, we had to hurry, but the battery light is blinking. Bad thing is it doesn't tell me how long I've got. So let's just keep talking and see how long we've got once the battery light starts blinking until it shuts off. Really? Okay, bye guys. Bye!